Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today's workout is a core workout. Dumbbells are optional for this workout. I'm gonna use a set of dumbbells. I think there's a set of 12 pound dumbbells. You can do it with one dumbbell, two dumbbells, or no dumbbells at all. We just have four different exercises, four different exercises, and we're gonna perform each one for three sets between 15 and 20 repetitions per set. Today's workout is gonna be like this. There's gonna be no countdown, there's gonna be no clock. I'm gonna leave my microphone on, just follow along with me. So let's get down on the ground, grab your dumbbells or not, and I'll see you guys in about five minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna start off with a reverse crunch. Like I said, you can use dumbbells for this or you don't have to, you can use one or two. We're gonna start off with a two dumbbell set. So we're doing three sets of 15 repetitions. Bring the weights up, bring your legs up, put the weights back just a little bit, and what you're gonna do is bring up and then point your, point your legs towards the ceiling. That's kind of the motion that we're gonna go through. So we're doing three sets of 15 repetitions. So you guys ready? Let's go in three, two, one, nice and steady until you get your rhythm. Legs up, and let's go, one. Two, this is the basic motion, just keep it up. Three. Five, six, eight, nine, and ten. We got five more. And five, and it's fifteen. Take a little breather. I am working out with you guys today. There's no clock. Just going to catch our breath a little bit. I did the first set with two dumbbells. I performed this set with one dumbbell. Just hold it over your head and go through the basic, basic motion. Once again, you guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Get the legs up. Pump it up towards the ceiling. One. That's five. Keep it up. I believe that's ten. If I miscount a little bit, please forgive me. Let's do one more. And legs down. And the final set. I'm going to perform with no weights. So the balance is a little bit different in this one. I'm going to do the best that I can. But if you're performing this with no weights, you already know what to do. Same thing, arms up, legs down, and point everything towards the ceiling. You guys ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. That's five. Ooh. Oh yeah. One, two, three. Come on. Four. And we got ten. We got five more. Four and one more. And five. Well, that one hurt a little bit towards the end. All right. So now we work, we work the lower abs. Now we're gonna do a little bit of the upper abs. So basically a reverse motion. We're gonna do a sit up. You grab your dumbbells. You can grab two, you can grab one, you can grab none. You can hold them however you wanna hold them. And you're gonna brace yourself and sit up and point up towards the ceiling and sit back down. So I'm gonna try to do this with two dumbbells. Might have to drop to one mid set but we're going to try with the first set with two dumbbells ready same thing guys three sets of 15 repetitions dumbbells up ready in three two one and sit up one two three Then 
That's five. Ten more. Ready? One. Two. Try to keep those dumbbells pointing towards the ceiling as much as you can. Fight it. Three. Fight it. Come on. Oh, yeah. Five more. I got it. I got it. There we go. A little loss of balance. I'm working out with you. Three. Woo. Four. And five. All right, dumbbells down. Guess what? I'm switching to a single one on the next one. That was a little much, but it's a good challenge. Always fun to challenge myself with everybody else watching. But challenge is done. Well, it's still gonna be challenging. Let's get going in five, four, single dumbbell. Three, two, one, and sit up. Oh, much easier. Almost went to the wall. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Stay with me. Five. Six. And ten, we need five more. And one more. And we're down. All right, take a breather. We're gonna perform the last set with no dumbbells, so just to sit up. Arms up in the air. If you're strong enough and flexible enough, keep your legs all the way down. I'm neither, especially flexible, so I bend my legs a little bit so I can sit all the way up into an L. Flexibility is definitely not my strong suit. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get going in three. Arms up in the air, two, one, and let's go. Let's sit up, one. Three. Four. Four. And five. Keep going. One. see coming to an end like Legato. Get chipped like Sakato, send a wave through the hood, now sounding like Verado. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying Let's to tell so we got five more. Singing on my sorrows on Apollo, I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was Pottos. Mm. America ain't dreaming, they've been scheming when the birth of a nation came from black, 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 black. Uh, we all know it's black, black. Genius, everybody love the culture, they be black by convenience. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my killer. You talking way too One much. more. Think about some girls or some money or some diamonds or something. I'm and that's five. All right. Just take a little breather. We now we're going. I need to find more room here. We're going to go single arm to the opposite leg. Once again, you can do this without a dumbbell. You can do this like this with two dumbbells. Hold one up in the air and do, do this. And we're going to do 10 on each side. You can also do, use it with a single dumbbell, leave that arm down, and just do this, and extend all the way back. Or obviously you can do it with no dumbbells, if you want to hold on to one, arm all the way back, and you can find room here, and then just lean forward towards your leg. So we're going to perform three sets of ten repetitions on each side. I'm going to start off just like we did before with two dumbbells, and you guys are ready, and let's go. One. Two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Five more.
Last one before we switch sides. All right, keep the dumbbell here. I gotta make sure I got enough room. This drop okay? All right, here we go, ready? One. Two. Sit up. Three, pull that weight up. Four. Five. Six, four more. Come on. Last one. And we're down. All right. Fix the mic here. This one I'm going to perform with one dumbbell. Once again, I got to make sure I got enough room. This is not the biggest space in the world, as you guys know. And we'll get going. Ready? Single dumbbell, the other arm stays down. If you need a little bit of leverage, you can hold down to the dumbbell that's laying down on the ground, or you can just leave your arm next to you. It's completely up to you. Ready? And let's go for 10. One, two, sit up. Three, reach for the leg. Four, five. Ten. Don't build down, grab the other one or switch hands, whichever works best for you. Ready? Let's go for 10. One. Three more. Eight. Nine. And 10. All right. Take a little bit of time off and now we're gonna go with no dumbbells. Same, same concept, guys. Arm up in the air, drop it back, and reach for the leg. Ready? In three, two, one, and let's go. One. See if you can make contact. Two, three, four. Come on. Eight, two more. Nine, come on, give me one more. And 10. Switch sides, ready? And let's go. One, two, three. Try to meet about halfway. Four, between the leg and the arm. And five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Woo. All right. All right. Sit up a little bit. Oh, we're still staying on the ground. We're there doing core on the ground today. We're going to go for the Russian twist. If you're brave or stupid, you can start with two dumbbells. That's what I'm going to do because I lean towards the stupid side. Then I'm going to go to one dumbbell and finally no dumbbells at all. So everybody knows what the Russian twist is. If you're strong enough, you lift your legs up in the air. If not, leave them on the ground and we're just gonna twist back and forth. Do the best that you can. Start off with the hardest one, which might be two dumbbells and legs up in the air. And that's what we're going for right here. I got my two 12 pound dumbbells. Got my legs up in the air. I'm gonna try to keep my balance and let's go. In three, two, one, let's go for 15 reps. That's one. Two, that 15 full repetitions. Three. Four, five, come on. Five more, stay with me, come on. One, two, come on. Three, four, one more. And five, I gotta put the weights back, there we go. All right, a little breather. I'm gonna be happy to switch to one dumbbell. All right, guys, are you guys ready? Breaks up, hold your dumbbell however you wanna hold it. You can hold it this way, you can hold it this way. Whatever is comfortable, the little stuff doesn't really matter as long as we twist. Ready, in three, two, 
One, legs up, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's 10, we got five more, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. All right, final set. Thankfully, it's gonna be with no weights for me. It's actually kind of, kind of fun way to do it. Start with the hardest one, then finish off by knocking them out with the easiest one. Are you guys ready? 15 repetitions, no weights, legs up, let's go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got five more, ready? One, two, let's do ten more. Three, come on, push it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, perfect. Nine, and let's finish up right here. Ten, all right. Welcome back, guys. We are done with today's core workout. Let's do the quick outro, and I'll see you in about three seconds. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, that was a fun little dumbbell core workout. A lot of people out there say you don't have to do dedicated core work, because if you're doing a lot of heavy compound movements like deadlifts and back rows and upright rows, you don't need that core work because it gets stabilized by doing those movements because you have to protect your lower back. Not everybody does heavy compound movements, however. Some of us don't, some of us don't like to do it, some of us can't do it anymore. So, a little bit of dedicated core work once in a while. Great thing in my opinion, guys. So anyway, thank you for joining me today at Fit After 15. My name is Paul, and as always, I take you through every workout on Mondays and Thursdays. Today was a dumbbell core workout, guys. Thanks for joining me today. If you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys during the next workout. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you later.